So a few videos ago, I went ahead and seen if I could beat Sneaky Sasquatch without stealing anything. And for the most part, I did. However, someone left a comment saying that technically speaking, taking money out of the caches, like the red boxes, is technically actually stealing from uh, the rich uncle duck who lives on the island. And that got me thinking. I was like, well, that's a problem. So I changed the name of the video to Beating Sneaky Sasquatch Without Stealing Any Food. So today's video, I've come back because I want to see if I can actually beat Sneaky Sasquatch without stealing anything. Like, no caches, no, you know, you know what I'm saying? The only thing that I can s technically take or steal whatever is out of the trash cans. Because technically, people threw that away so it's not stealing because people got rid of it and it's just going to go to the garbage. So technically, we're helping the earth out, you see what I'm saying? So that's the only thing that I'm allowed to take. So let's go ahead and get it started. I already completed the tutorial. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this thing started. So to start off, we're going to run into the first campsite because, you know, that's where you always start. And uh, we're going to, we got, we got a nice little trash can here. And uh, we got some cat food. Okay, now this cat food is very, very important because uh, we, we need to collect all the food we can out of the trash cans. For one, we need to be able to actually stay alive. For two, we need to complete some fox missions because that's the only way we're going to be able to earn money. And so we're going to run over here to the third section, or the third campsite area, because there's actually a fox mission here. And we need to do this. And uh, so where is he at, actually? Oh, look at that. There's some more food here. Got some cat food. And I forgot. We got we to gotta stay quiet. You know what? We're going to just leg it. Leg it over here. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. The ranger has saw us, and we are now running. And we're going to fake him out. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that fake. All right, we gotta quickly run to the other section here. Um, oh, we can't talk to the... Okay, well, I was hoping we could quickly talk to the fox, but I guess we can't. Let's go back. Let's complete this, because we need to complete this. We need as much money as we can get. What have you got? He's got a job for us. Here four campers for 43 coins. That is a deal right there. All right, so uh, is there someone over here? Hello, how are you doing? Oh, that's a ranger. What the hell is the ranger doing here? Don't catch me. Don't catch me. Don't catch me. Get scared. All right. All right. We got to run around over here. I think we can hide in the outhouse if we're fast enough. All right. We got to hurry hide in the outhouse. Hide. All right. Then we just need one more person. That's all we need. Come on, Ranger. Go away. It's okay. You can go away. It's not a big deal. It really isn't. All right. There you go. There you go. All right. Now we're good. Now I think this person here we can scare. I don't think we scared these people. Hello. We've completed the mission. Now we're getting chased by a ranger. Let's get out of here. Okay, that's he's getting kind of close there. All right, well, let's quickly run out here, and we're good to go. Now on to the second thing of uh, uh, trying to earn money here. And the way we're going to do that is uh, also I completely forgot of how to actually uh, uh, tell you what we, the, the whole point of this is we got to complete the treasure map. That's the whole point of this. Okay. So, uh, this next fox mission, we just have to set off a smoke alarm. And in order to do so, we got we need some type of food. And so we're going to throw this cat food on here and light it. And then uh, that should hopefully just, yeah, yep, that'll start sm smoking good. Now, some of y'all may ask, why don't I use some of the phone numbers to call for, like, because you can call for free money. Well, I don't want to do that because, I mean, for one, it's just, it's too easy, I guess, in my opinion. Because, like, what, right off the bat, you get 600 coins. So I'm not going to do that. We got, you know, we got to earn it the hardest way possible, I guess. All right, so now that he's going to go in and he's going to turn off that smoke detector. And there's our 57 coins. And now for the third fox mission. Now we have 100 coins, so this is really good. Uh, now we're going to run down here to the end. We're going to actually go talk to another fox mission down here. I think you get 23 coins or something like that from this one. Not actually 100% sure. But uh, let's go ahead and talk to this fox here. And 28 coins, that's what it is. So go ahead and we'll push all of these boats and everything. In, or the canoes, I'm sorry. We're going to push all these into the lake. And then we have, I believe, is there... There's one or two more fox missions. Ah, don't see me. Please don't see me. It's okay, dude. I really am not here. Okay, push that in. Is that going to go all the way in? Please say it goes all the way in. Come on, go in. Shh. There we go, 28 coins. All right, now we need a fish bad because then we could feed this bear and grab that little thing over there. But I don't actually, yeah, we don't have a fish. So that's a bit of a problem. We need to get the map. So I guess we should go back and we need to buy the map and probably a fishing pole. So uh, let's go back and do that real quick. Hello, ma'am. How are you doing? 
Just an opinion of mine, I feel like they should add like a cabin section. But, you know, they don't have to. Hello, Mr. Raccoon. How are you doing? Oh, uh, yes. You know, I'm doing pretty good myself. All right, let's go ahead and buy the map. That's five coins. So then we can travel home. And then we can go ahead and buy the fishing pole. Because that's pretty important. That's how we're going to make a lot of our money. And we have 48 coins left. I guess we could buy the shovel because this this will allow us to dig up different things. This is probably yeah, that's probably a good idea. Like like this one right here, because this is di different hidden treasures. So you know we could really use this. This will this will be a good way to do it. All right, what do we got here? What is this? Ten coins. Look at that. Wow, that's a lot of coins right there. I think there's another one down here. Aha! There is another one down here. Look at that. Hey, that was twenty five coins. I think a whole sack of coins. All right, I think that is it for over here. Let's go ahead and run back, and I think there's a few more we can dig up along the campsite areas. So let's go ahead and find some of those if we can. There's another one over. There's another one over here. Oh no, it is a sack of coins. Okay, I mean I'll take that. I'll take that. We really need to just do some fishing, honestly. That's going to be one of the best ways. Now there is a fox mission we can do at the racetrack. I know that. That'll give us like, oh uh, shoot, I think it gives us like 200 something coins. All right, caught us a nice little sunfish. And let's see what else we got over here. Maybe a goldfish? A goldfish would be nice. That would actually be very nice. We also need to talk to the old fisherman. But we need to get an outfit for that. So uh, that's going to cost 150 coins. A schloopin? I think. I, a a skil, skilpin? I still do not know how to pronounce that word or that fish name. I, I do not know. I never have and probably never will. All right, another something. Oh, there he goes. He took it that time. Oh, yeah, that's a nice trout. There you go. I mean, how many of these things do we catch? We caught at least four. Are there any little holes to dig down here? I was thinking there was, but maybe there isn't. Oh, yeah, there is one down here. Can't use that little red box, but it's okay. It's okay. Another sack of coins. That is exactly what we wanted. Yeah, let's go down to the lake. Let's do some more fishing because we need all the money we can get. And yeah, yeah, let's do that. Oh, you know what? Actually, we can go feed. Uh, we can just eat the fish, Matt. What am I thinking? We can just eat the fish. All right, we got plenty of these little fishies. Little fishies here. I mean, just fish, but you know, you know. Kind of fun to say fishies. All right, I think that's all we need because it's about dark. And we can go ahead and give this to the bear. Feed him a fish. He better not take all my fish, by the way, because that's not going to be very fair. Give me fish and I will go try, or what something like yonder. Okay, good. He didn't take all my fish. Because he took my one fish I didn't want him to take, my sunfish. So that will give us the first piece of treasure map. That's another 25 coins. All right, little buddy, you going to move? or I mean, quality's slow, but, you know, I guess it's whatever. Hey, get away from me. Yeah, there you go. All right. That is the first treasure map piece, I do believe. Only eight more to go. All right. How much money do we have? 133. We need a little bit more money than that. What are you doing over here, dude? I'm trying to fish. Catching trout and stuff. We're just having a good time. You're over here coming and trying to ruin it. That's a good fish. Come on, please be my sunfish. Oh, no, we got a sucker fish. That's pretty neat. Come on in, buddy. What's that? What's that? A lamprey. Something like that. That's that's a pretty cool fish right there. It like, almost looks like an eel. Another lamprey. Oh, yeah, these are caught near the near nighttime, I think. Oh, yeah, that's another lamprey. There we go. All right, we're going to head up to the RV park now because I do believe that is going to have some holes to dig, and we can get another treasure map piece up there as well. Um, just because I want to make sure I get the human clothes, then I can go sell all these fish to, uh, uh, what's his name? The, 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 the fisherman dude. That's, that's what I want to do. And we got a small sack of coins. Very cool, very cool. Let's run up the ARB park and see if we can't find us another small sack of coins. I don't see no holes around here. Let's go up here then. That little ducky right there needs us to come up here and turn this dude's music down. Because it's too loud. Just like so. And then we can even go dig that little thing over there. Alright, we gotta be real quiet. Sneak in here. Woo! Almost saw us. Alright, run out, run out, run out, run, run, run. There we go. All right, now we can go dig this little thing op over here, uh, right? And then we can go return this hat to the duck, and then we can teleport home and go to sleep. We got us a, a sack of coins. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, he's jamming out again. All right, where's this duck at? We need to go return this hat to him. Here's your hat, buddy. There you go. 
It's stretched, apparently. All right. Now let's go ahead. Now we can teleport home. And now we wake up, and this cutscene plays here in a little bit, I think. Yeah, a raccoon comes running. What a beautiful cutscene. Okay, let's go ahead and buy some human clothes now, because we have enough money to do so. And, uh, yep, we got 168 coins. So let's go ahead and buy some human clothes. Camper disguise, I guess you could say. And now we can run over here and talk to the fisherman and uh, see if he doesn't want to buy some fish from us. Hey, we got us a crayfish. Look at that. Well, that'll be nice. We don't have one of those. We should buy a pedal bike, and we should race the racing dude. That would be brilliant right there. Imagine if we, like, somehow force him to get stuck or something. Anyways, well, here we are at the fishing dude. Let's go ahead and catch a few more fish real quick. Because uh, we, might, we might be able to catch this little goldie fish here. Nothing else out there. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to him in here. Yeah, howdy, howdy, sir. I know I just walked into your house. All right, let's take this fishing book over here. Yep, yep, we sure needed that. Fishing guide. Yep, all that good stuff. All right, let's talk to him again. Yeah. Oh, 420. Look at that, 420. Perfect. 420 coins. That is a lot. <gasps> we can go play golf now. That's what I'm talking about. All right. This will get us another treasure map piece if you're curious. So let's go ahead and let's get us some golf clubs. And then we can play golf. Nah, we'll just buy a good pair. All right. Let's go ahead and let's join a tournament. We'll do a quick round for 250 coins. And then we got to go play a dude for... For a treasure map piece. That's an easy 250 coins if you ask me. Alright, now we can go ahead and we can go talk to this feller. And then we just gotta beat him and then that'll be another treasure map piece. So that'll be good. Well, that was a pretty easy treasure map piece, I guess. Um, I'm not sure if... I'm thinking about whether or not I want to actually... Alright, take this... Th thank you, sir. Thank you. This treasure map piece is... Will be much appreciated. Now I'm thinking about whether or not I want to actually buy a thing for $150. It's 500 coins for a whole round six, and 900 for a round for a whole nine. For not or for 900 coins for for nine holes, but we need a shirt, which I think is a pretty good deal. So I say, um, we buy a shirt, a golfer disguise. All right, now we're good to go. I say we go for the pro tournament. I'm going to just speed through this real quick. Because it's it's 900 coins and it's going to take a little bit of time. Wow. I only got 300. I played all that for 300 coins. Oof, that's rough. After that miserable round, I'm going to borrow one of these golf carts and drive all the way up to the golf course. Or not to the golf course. No, we don't need to go there. I'm going to go on up to the racetrack. And we're going to do the one Fox mission that is up there. And he should hopefully give us about 230 coins or something. 223 coins, I think, is the exact amount. And uh, and then hopefully we can maybe buy us a vehicle from there. And then maybe we can even enter some races. I think we're going to go ahead and switch out vehicles and go for the go-kart. I think that's going to do us a lot better. Might as well dig up this little hole while we're over here as well. Ten coins. Well, that's, it's something. Hello there, Mr. Fox. Yeah, I'd love to. Parking lot's too boring. Put skid marks all over it for 224 coins. Sure. I can do that. There we go. 3,500 coins. Well, no. 3,500 skid marks, I guess, is a thing. I don't know. And now we can go ahead and buy us a race car. And then we can go do the race. All right. Let's go ahead and do some upgrades with this thing. Woo! That was close. Almost hit him. Not there. It's right here. Perfect. $200 for an upgrade. And then we'll be in business. And we're going to paint it a bright yellow. Because, you know, yellow is just cool. Why, hello, good sir. Would you like to race? We're going to challenge him to a good old race. Yeah, we're going to beat him, too. That's the plan, at least. Well, that actually wasn't that difficult, to be honest. But that's good. That's another racing map. Racing map? That's another treasure map piece we got now. We have four more to go. That is what we're talking about right there. Now, can we quickly do a race? Is that possible? Can we do a race real quick? 150 coins for go-kart. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take 150 coins. There we go. First place. 51.81 seconds. It's not bad, but it's it's 150 coins. So so it's good. It's good for me. Now that we have that complete, let's go ahead, go back home. Let's sleep. And then uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we are going to buy a paddle. I think I think we should buy a paddle. That should probably be our next order of business. 
But let's eat some food real quick, and then we might sell some food to bear. Well, okay, listen, I got some fish here for you. Do you want it or no? 70 coins. It's not terrible. I'll take the 70 coins. All right. Now we need to go over here, and actually, we need to catch this fish. I just now realized, or remembered. We need to go ahead and catch this fish here, and we need to take him to the golf course. And I think what we're going to do now is go ahead and buy a paddle, and we need to buy some skis. How much one we got? We got 317. So ski, or a paddle is 50. Oh, we also need the flashlight, though. Um, any, any, uh, we'll buy the flashlight, I think. That's going to be better for us. Because then we can go do the cave mission. Just drive out on the course. You know, nobody will ever mind. Nobody ever minds. There we go. Perfect for him. Gave us a treasure map piece. Isn't that wonderful? That was nice of him. I'm not going to lie. Hello, sir. How are you doing today? Ah, uh, yeah, we, we had some luck catching these fish. 150 coins. Okay, 240. Please say this is a bass, because that would be great. We could get us a little extra money. We need every bit we can get right now. Wait, well, I thought the little fish bit, bit onto it first. Is this a bass? It's a trout. We don't need any more trout. We need we need something else. Is this a goldfish? We need some type of fish or dig a hole or something. Hey, it's a minnow. We can sell that. Come here, buddy. I, I found, I found, caught me a minute real quick. Look at that. Yep, 20 coins. All right, that's just enough. 162. Now we can head on over to, should we go up to the ski resort first? I guess we probably should. Let's go ahead and head up to the ski resort. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and, or should we do, I don't know. Yeah, let's go to the ski resort. All right, now that we made it to the snow resort in our proper gear, we're going to go and we need to buy us some good old skis. And then we got to go do some, uh, uh where's, the, where's the skis at? There they are. There's the skis at. Yep, need some skis. Let's go ahead and run out here real quick. I wish it wouldn't equip them right away. Cause, like, you don't really need them equipped. Now I just got to do our ski lessons or something like that, whatever it's called. And uh, then we'll, we'll, that won't we'll be good. Now that we have our certificate, let's go find this feller that, uh, that has a treasure map piece. I love it how the ski school isn't even teaching you how to like ski. It's just like, oh hey, so this is how you spin and this is how you flip. You you you'll be fine. You don't need to worry about standing up. That's the hardest part. That was gnarly. You're shredding like a pro. All right, how many do we have left? Only two more to go. Well, that's convenient. So let's teleport home and let's take these skis off because we sure don't need them no more. And actually, let's put on like a, a normal hat. And now all we have left to do is the cave, and then we gotta do uh, the lake. So I think we're gonna run to the cave first, and then from the cave we're gonna go ahead and head on out of there, and run on over to uh, the the uh, the uh, uh, the pond, and then go get the go get the treasure piece that's down there. A lot of times when I do speed runs, I actually do the cave last, and the big reason for that is just because it takes so long to get out of. But in this, I don't really much care because. I don't care about time and and plus if I do the uh, the maze see usually the way it works is with the maze you uh, finish that out near the end of the day and then you teleport home and sleep because you usually need to buy stuff anyways but this time I don't need to buy anything I just need to finish it so we're gonna run into the cave and uh, let's go get some dynamite where is the dynamite there it is it was in here somewhere We'll go ahead, place it here, and then we'll run up here and blow it up. Leave a comment down below if you actually want me to do speed runs again, because I'm I, I'm kind of kind of be kind of fun to do again. Just let me know. Yeah, that's a treasure map piece right there. Look at that. One more to go. We just need to go get it by the lake. Now we just got a paddle, and of course this dude's right in the way. I remember this happened to me during a run one time, and I was so mad. Ugh. It's frustrating. Feel like you got like a perfect run coming in, and then that dude just foils your plans. Well, this maze is not hard at all. This is this maze here is a piece of cake. And that's it. That's the last treasure map piece. Woohoo! Final treasure map piece. All right, let's teleport home, and we can see the finished product. I've never actually completed this thing at night, so this is something new. Well, we did it. We did it. Well, actually, I did it, okay? Technically speaking, I did it. We completed the entire treasure map without stealing a single thing. 
okay, I've done it. You can't say anything about it now, but someone will pro probably find something to complain about. I don't know. Well, anyways, I hope y'all have enjoyed watching this video. It's actually a load of fun to make, not gonna lie. But I thank y'all so much for watching this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.